Hi everyone so it's been a week since your gate examination is over some of you might have been scoring very very good but a lot of you might have messed up their examination but let me tell you guys this is not the end of your journey there are plenty of opportunities left for you you should not be highly motivated or highly demotivated even if you are scoring very less in your examination but if you give your mtech ms interview very well you still have chance to get your desirable seat in your desirable iits so to help you all in that i'm going to bring a complete playlist on this channel for your mtech and ms interview let's check out what we are going to cover yeah so we will try to cover all the branches vlsi ics electronic system signal processing communication systems even uh, uh, microwave and rf engineering all those branches we will try to cover right so first let's check what do they actually ask so this is what the, this is what you need to study so in network analysis rcrl circuit edc basic semiconductor physics p and diode mos physics mos capacitor analog electronics basic mos configuration these things you need to study right you can read now people now electrical students will say that they haven't studied edc so right you need to study but only the basics one whatever that, that is there in the gate syllabus that would be more than enough for edc at least for edc so you can study basic semiconductor physics and p and diode the major part your major focus should be towards the fermi level they will ask they can you can expect some question from fermi level even if you are electrical student but if you are not able to prepare if you are not uh, able to put that much that much of effort then you can skip it but i would recommend study edc because even if you are going in vlsi that will be highly used right so study edc do focus on edc most part leave up to me i will bring some videos most capacitor you can study right there are playlist available on youtube from those playlist you can study basic semiconductor physics p and diode mos capacitors only the gate syllabus would be more than enough and network analysis rcrl circuits intuitive approach everything i will bring now people will think that sir we have already studied rcrl circuit so why do we need to study again you need to study once i deal the subjects you will realize why you need to study again so just wait for the videos you will certainly realize why you need to study that again and analog electronics part this i will certainly cover configuration of mos circuit differential amplifier op amps filter what kind of question they ask so certainly i am going to cover everything digital electronics so combinational sequential counter circuit whatever that you have studied in gate syllabus that would be enough if there are some questions available if there is something different available i will certainly bring on the youtube channel i will certainly bring the videos but most of the part you have already covered yeah so i was saying yeah so most of the part you have already covered and uh, what they can ask like in gate there will be a particular circuit given and they ask you what kind of counter it is like let's assume they are asking you the type of counter mode 8 counter mode 10 counter but in the interview what they can say they can ask you to draw a mode 10 counter circuit using deep flip flop or jk flip flop so you, you should be ready with that i hope if you have studied enough for gate you can do that they can ask you to design a decoder they can ask you to design four cross one using two cross one marks like in the gate examination you will be asked how many two two cross one marks is used to make four cross one marks but in the interview they can ask you to design and they can ask you cmos inverter cmos inverter is a bit different a, dip, a bit complex so that video i will be bringing st also i will be bringing memories you can study basics of memories only you need to study sram dram these kind of only basics that you have studied in gate right basic mathematics linear, linear algebra should be focused more on that and probability also you should focus gate syllabus would be again i am saying more than enough but still we will be bringing some videos we will be bringing some questions what kind of questions they have asked and uh, basic calculus like they can uh, give you some graph like they can ask you draw the graph of x log x so how to do, draw those graph how basic calculus only so that those videos also i will bring in signal systems fourier series fourier transform laplace transform only the basics part like what is the meaning of fourier series what is the meaning of fourier transform what is the difference between fourier series and fourier transform why do you actually need fourier transform why do you need laplace transforms so these things they can ask right so it's not that they are going to ask you numericals but you should be knowing the first part like just just search on youtube what is fourier series you will find some video like they will define what is fourier series they will define what is fourier transform so you can study from there well, very basic so, and also i will try to bring the videos on fourier series fourier transform and laplace transform communication systems now electrical guys haven't studied communication system at all so you don't need to worry now i am not telling that study the digital com completely no need to worry about that they are not going to focus much on digital com even if you don't know digital com you can tell them that you are from electrical guy you are a electrical guy so you don't know much of digital com so they will focus on signal system or they can ask you mathematics or they can ask you other subjects 
it's not that I am telling you to study digital comp, but I am at least asking you to study EDC because if you go into VLSI design in the future as well, EDC will be used. So at least I am asking you to study EDC, but not I am not asking you communication system. Okay, you can leave it if you don't have the idea. If you want to study, you can study. And uh, EC guys know the basics of communication uh, digital comp that would be more than enough. And you need to study, focus on random variable and random process. Random variable, basics of random variable, whatever that you study in mathematics, at least that much you should know. That is for electrical guys and EC guys should know more of random variable and random process. Like uh, they can give you a, a probability density function. They can ask you the mean, all those things they can ask. Right. So basic things they can ask. Now, what we are going to cover. So basically, these are the things we are going to cover. RCRL circuits I will cover intuitively. Most physics, more co most configuration, differential amplifier, CMOS inverter, op amp, filters, basic STA, basic calculus, linear, linear, linear algebra. All these things we are going to cover. Whatever that is left, that would be simply gate approach only. Whatever that you have studied in gate, that would be more than enough. But these things are asked on a bit higher level. So for that, I am going to bring some videos. So th for these things, you don't need to worry. Rest of the things you just need to cover the gate syllabus that would be more than enough. And even for Fourier series, Fourier transform, Laplace transform, we will try to bring videos. So don't worry about that. And uh, post gate guidance also, like what will be the cutoff trends, uh, how you, you can apply for the counseling, uh, where you can get the seat, uh, and what is the procedure. All those things will be brought by Anish on this channel. So everything we, is going to be covered. Now, the thing is where the videos will come. So the videos will come on our Prep Fusion channel, Prep Fusion Gate channel. So the playlist is there, Tech Master. Currently it is private. I will, um, since you are watching this video till now, I must have made it public. So there are only already 26 videos upload, uploaded. Now these videos are for RCRL circuit part. Now you will say that sir, there is oh, gate written. So we have already studied in gate. So why do we need to follow this playlist? Believe me, once you are going to watch this playlist, you will realize how it is different from gate. Look, there is gate written. Certainly there is gate written, but there will be certainly a lot of new things which you haven't studied in gate because while studying for gate, you, you might not have studied from this playlist because uh, this playlist came in this December and till that time you might have already covered network analysis. But now if you cover only the transient analysis part, I am asking, I have sorted out the videos which you need to watch. Like basics of uh, interesting question, question on network, there is one question, reciprocity theorem. So only those lecture, lectures which are useful for your interview, those I have covered, those I have sorted and made a separate playlist. They, from there only you need to start covering. Now, let's assume there is a 60 minutes video. Now you already know a lot of stuff. So this 60 minute video will not take you so much of time. You, you might be able to complete this 60 minute video in 20 minutes only. So. These are 26 videos for network analysis for RCRL part. You will be able to cover it in maximum seven days. In maximum seven days, if you study three hours a day, you will be able to cover the complete playlist because most of the things you already know, but there are certainly some things which you don't know. So you can cover that from this playlist and you will be very comfortable with RCRL circuit because that is the most basic things that interviewers are going to ask you. It will also help you in placements. It will always help you. Once you go into Amtech, it will certainly going to help you every time. So that's why I, I'm asking you to prepare. Don't take it on ego that I have already studied for gate. Why do I need to follow a gate playlist? Once you start following this playlist, you will realize there is certainly something different. There is certainly something new. So just I have sorted out the videos which you need to watch specifically for your placements. So quickly you can watch and you will certainly learn something new. And what we expect from your side, a share. Okay. Please try to share this video in on Telegram groups uh, or on WhatsApp status or on Facebook tele or Instagram anywhere. If you are wherever you are active, please try to share it so that it reaches the maximum people. So because this is what I think is actually a really productive thing that we are going to do because I don't think there are much playlist available or any playlist available for MTech interview preparation or MS interview preparation. So this is what we are going to cover and we are going to cover from Whatever that is required, we are going to cover every possible thing. So the, just a share I am asking or you can like the video so that it, get, it it gives me motivation because if we get subscriber, if we get views, that is the best possible gift we can receive, right? This is what gives us more motivation. If I am making videos and I am not even getting views, I am not even getting subscriber, I will not get the motivation, right? So yeah, 
just the motive for motivation i am asking you to share yeah okay so that's it i will soon start uploading videos on channel so just start studying from right tomorrow okay so let's meet you in the playlist thank you